Auto Line on the Road from CES in Las Vegas is brought to you by our signature sponsor, ZF. See, think, act. And also by Gentex, a smarter vision. And by Magna, science fiction thinking, automotive reality. David Tuhig is the chief engineering geek at Byton. I yes, think that's sir. a good way to put it, right? I, I like the geek. I really like yeah. that. So yeah, we're at CES, so uh, I'm going to take that. Where does Byton stand right now? You guys have been sort of in startup mode. You teased us with a car last year. Here you've got two cars. Where does Byton stand right now? Yeah, we've come a hell of a long year in, in a year. So one year ago I was here, um, CES 2018. So we, we teased, as you said, the concept version of that vehicle over there, m -Byte. So we're back a year later with production version of the interior of that car that we showed yesterday and we could talk about that a little bit and we're showing the concept version of the sedan which is going to come to us in 2021. Let's talk about the sedan first then we'll go back to the interior yes, production sir. interior. This is what the concept for a level four autonomous vehicle? Absolutely so this is our second baby on the same platform and that's a key point it's called K-Byte. Now it is a design study this car is a little bit further out than our SUV our M-Byte. We're looking at production sometime in 2021. Um, but exactly, you can see it's already a study to look at what might a full level four autonomous vehicle look like with these famous sensors called the LIDARs. So we've decided these things are pretty cool. We don't want to hide them behind some plastic panel. We put them out there to celebrate the technology. Yeah, let's get a shot of that down here on the Defender here, Katie, that shows the, the LIDAR. Now you're saying it's popped out now, but if you're just driving yourself, this would retract into the car. Exactly, so the idea is if I'm not in autonomous mode, I'm driving the car myself, so that will be popped in and flush, and we bring it out when we need to bring it out. But probably when this really goes to production, you're going to hide all this stuff anyway. I would think. Uh, not necessarily. Folks said that about our 48-inch display. They said, well, they're not going to do that in production. But well, we are. Um, <laughs> So this is a study, but again, take it for, as an early study at the moment because this technology, LiDAR, is a technology that's moving really, really fast. In fact, there's a lot of it here in CES. When we get to 2021, the production version of these are going to be smaller, lighter, more compact. So it's going to look something like this. This is a teaser, but probably even cooler than what we're seeing here. David, you've got extensive background in designing and engineering cars. What's different in doing a level four autonomous car? Right. Um, in some ways, the basics stay the same, and I think this is a message I put across to young automotive engineers. Automotive engineering these days, yes, it's very software intensive, yes, it's digital, but the fundamentals remain the same. Safety, quality, it is still a vehicle that can move at 100 miles an hour, so the safety and fundamental reliability has to be there. And when we're talking about level four systems, we're looking, we're getting close to aerospace levels of reliability, you know? We don't need redundancy, we need triple level safety. And that's part of what Byton is working at with some of the best guys in the industry. Uh, for example, we've announced our partnership with Aurora. So we're leveraging some of that expertise based in Silicon Valley and making sure safety first, quality, and then performance. I don't know if we, let's try to move over to this other car where you've got the, the production interior. So what we're looking at here, the thing that really leaps out of this is this famous 48 inch SED display, which stands for Shared Experience Display. And it's shared between the front seat passengers and the rear seat passengers because of these swiveling seats. You can also see the driver's tablet in the middle of the steering wheel. And about a year ago, everybody said in CES, yeah, that's a nice gimmick. These guys are not going to be crazy enough to do that. Well, guess what? We are. And the production version that we showed yesterday, which is showing on the screen behind, number one, it looks even better, we feel. And number two, that tactile tablet on the steering wheel it's still there. Okay, you're aiming for when? Production. So production is this year, 2019. Now, launch is first in China. Our first market in terms of size and also in terms of time is China. So our, our production base is in Nanjing. So first deliveries will be in China. Deliveries to the US are gonna be in the following year, 2020, and also in Europe towards the end of that year. So global, global presence. But you were saying that most of the engineering has already been done in Silicon Valley. Yeah, so the core engineering team, Silicon Valley. Now, we are building up our engineering presence in Nanjing because, as we were discussing, as we go to production, that fine-tuning work, working with the local suppliers in China, working with the production plant, getting that finition, the level of quality that we expect of a premium vehicle, that's done in Nanjing. But the fundamental engineering has been kick-started in Santa Clara. Good. 
David, I can't wait to see this thing on the street. I think what you guys are doing is an amazing job. Thanks soon, so much sir. for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you. At Magna, we take the word impossible as a challenge. Whether it's autonomy, electrification, new mobility, or beyond, we make the impossible possible every day. Magna, science fiction thinking, automotive reality.